What is up, everybody? This is your boy. I'm here bringing you yet another guide on how to use an Xbox One controller on Dead Rising 2. In my previous guide, I had stated that there was no way of using an Xbox One controller with Dead Rising 2, but thanks to Heaven Strider, this person had informed me how to do it, and I will show you guys how to now. Now, there is no specific version of 360 or CE that you need to use, so you can use any of 360 CE's um, versions. I'm going to use the latest and I will put their uh, link in the description below. So let's get started. So the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to look up X360 CE or click the link in the description. We're going to go to the main page here and um, you don't have to worry about this. If you're, if you want specific versions, you can use a 32 bit since Dead Rising 2 is a 32 bit game. Um, we're just going to download for all versions. Uh, it doesn't really matter. I'm going to use the newest version, which is, uh, 4.17. Um, we're going to go ahead and open that up. And yet again, you're going to want to go to your Dead Rising 2, um, location, your, uh, directory for it. And where that usually is, it's under your programs file times 86 in the same folder or the same hard drive that your Windows is installed on. So you go to your local disk C or whatever drive your Windows is installed on. Program file times 86. And you're going to scroll all the way down to Steam. Go to Steam Apps. Common. Dead Rising 2. And then right in here in your root folder, you're going to go ahead and you're going to take your X360 CE. And you're just going to dump it right into your folder. So now what you're going to do is you're going to open it up in administrator mode. So you're going to run as an administrator, just like you would any other time. And to make this easier, what you can do, um, instead of having to do, remember that every time, you can just right-click it, show more options, go to properties. And then here, what you're going to do is go to compatibility mode. And then from here, you're going to go to run this program as administrator. Just make sure that's checked. Apply. And OK. And what that's going to do is, is every single time you run it, it's going to run it as administrator. So you don't have to continuously press right click and then go there. It just makes it easier. So anyway, open it up. Hit yes on that. And then what you're going to do is you're going to set up your Xbox One controller, which I'm using just the standard Xbox One controller. It's the it's actually the Series X controller um, or the one that came out when that came out. Um, but any of them will do as long as it's an Xbox One controller or any controller, really. But this is for the Xbox One. What you're going to do is you're going to set it up and for your game, you're just going to keep it as an X360 CE.exe. You're not going to change this feature, but when you load in, remember in order to add, like, let's say I didn't have this, right? You just hit add. And then what it's not, it, the check marks here don't matter. You need to highlight it in blue. So just click on it and then hit add selected device and it'll add it to your list there. And then, um, Make sure that's the only one that's in there. You're going to go ahead and set up your buttons so, you know, you can use them as you need. Make sure you just set them all up properly. And this is where you what you need to do to make the Xbox One controller function on your uh, Dead Rising 2. So what you need to do is up in these menus here, you're going to want to go to the games menu. And you're going to see your X360 CE. And what I did is I put all my X input files here as 32 bit. So you're just going to just select them all. Make sure they're all selected as 32 bit. And then over where it says hook mask here, you're going to want to make sure that com is checked. It's unchecked by default. So make sure to check that it's compatibility mode. Um, so that's going to allow the Xbox one controller to work. So just make sure your settings here look exactly like mine do. So you have come and you only need the 32 bit. Remember that um, Dead Rising 2 is a 32 bit game and it won't it, the 64 bit won't really matter. So just make sure it's all selected as 32 and then hook mask is compatibility mode. And then make sure you keep your 360 CE open. You can minimize it if you want to. It's just going to put it under your uh, your bar here and then you're going to want to start Dead Rising 2. All right. Now that we are in the menu, you can see I am using my controller now. And it is a Xbox One controller, so it's completely functional with Dead Rising 2. Um, that was just the trick. I'm, I'm glad that uh, I got a lot of comments on that video because I didn't know how to do this. There was no guides online for it, but some uh, someone would go out and figure it out. So I'm glad 
that I've got a couple comments before, but I didn't see the if that person even responded. I'll have to check. But I do want to thank uh, Heaven Strider for pointing this out because it actually really helped out. So um, if your controller is still not working, um, go to options here and then you want to go to PC settings and make sure your controller here is set to enabled. If that's not set to enabled or if it's grayed out, there's something wrong. Go back through the steps again or even check out my old video to see. But it's all the same stuff. You can use the newest version of uh, 360 CE. Um, and this is how you get your Xbox One controller to work. So I'm glad that it does work. I hate the 360 controller, especially the um, ones that I the one that I have is super messed up. And my one controller is just in better condition. So anyway. Thank you guys for watching. I hope this helped and I uh, will see you guys later.